Hi, this is Jerry McLaughlin, co-author of the book Cold Wax Medium, Techniques, Concepts, and Conversations, and co-producer of Cold Wax Medium, a video workshop. Welcome to Ask Jerry and Rebecca, a video series answering all your questions about Cold Wax Medium. Hi, and welcome to this episode of Ask Jerry and Rebecca. We are coming to you from Scopolos, Greece today. You can see over my shoulder the harbor. We just finished a two-week workshop. It's been lovely. Yes. <laughs> so today's question comes to us from Susan Gilly, from Janine Adamo, Tom Fries or Frise, Edie Myers, Jude Winkley, and Barbara Bagan. Popular question. Very popular question. And the question <laughs> is, what do I do to the surface of a finished painting, or how can I change the sheen of the typically matte surface of a cold wax painting? So um, the easy answer is, and it is what Jerry and I both do, we don't um, do anything. <laughs> yeah. We just finish the painting. We both like the matte surface. And, I mean, the most I would do would just be to sort of I don't know, dust it off a little or just rub it slightly. Um, but I don't even really buff it. Yeah. So that's going to give you the typical matte surface that a lot of people like. And it's one of the reasons people are drawn to cold wax. But some people do want a more satiny or glossy finish. And one way to do that is to incorporate an oil painting medium as you build your paintings. And the two that come to mind are Galkit or Galkit Light made by Gamblin. And if you use those throughout your painting or certainly in the final layers of your painting, then you'll get a surface that's a little more satiny in its sheen. And, and they also help it dry. Yeah, they yeah, do speed up the dry. advantage yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, another way that people can get a uh, more satiny finish is to actually buff it once it's dry. Yeah, and um, that's something uh, Jim Sherbarth, James Edward Sherbarth, does um, by applying a, a coat of cold wax, letting it dry. Uh, and you would do that once the painting was at least dry to the touch. And then um, he uses actually a car buffer <laughs> to buff it. Um, and... Uh, there, there is no, we just want to say there's no need to do that. It gives it a certain finish. But sometimes people ask about a sealing the painting. There, there's no need to seal it. The cold wax is only uh, to produce that slightly glossy finish. That's its function. Yeah. And you don't need to use an extra layer of cold wax before you do that kind of gentle buffing. You can just buff the surface of the painting yeah. directly. And not everybody uses something as vigorous as a car buffer a lot of people just use like an old t-shirt or some kind of soft sure. cloth but we do need to just make you aware that if you're going to buff your painting you do need to make sure it's dry enough to tolerate that and that it that when you do it you're not too aggressive because if you start to heat up and rub the surface you might start to smear some of the finer details of the painting yeah so um that's about it if you if you actually want um a painting varnish um as a final step, in a more traditional way, if you're using Gamblin cold wax, they make a product called Gamvar, which um, you can use. Yeah, and the nice thing about Gamvar is it has been tested with cold wax medium, and it also comes in three finishes. A lot of oil painting varnishes only come in satin or semi-gloss and then a glossy finish, but Gamvar also comes in a matte finish. And as for applying it, we would just recommend that you visit the Gamblin website. They have some very specific details about how to apply it. And one of the things you're probably going to notice is that if you varnish the surface of your painting, you're going to notice an increase in the saturation of your colors because it does uh, provide a, a coating, just like a traditional oil painting, and it enhances yeah. some of the saturation. And it would tend to even out if, if it bothers you that some areas are more or less shiny than other areas. A varnish will take care of that. Mm -hmm. So thank you to all of these people who asked and we hope <laughs> that answers your question. And again, the upshot for the two of us is that we don't do anything to ours. We just <laughs> let them dry and put them out into the world. So thank you for joining us. Okay. Next Bye. time. <laughs>